In this video, we're going to take a quick view at multiplication of fractions. As we do, we will review one way to represent multiplication of whole numbers. You may recall that multiplication of whole numbers can be thought about as the area of a rectangle, 2 times 5, that's 2 units high and 5 units long. When we count up the boxes, we find out that 2 times 5 is indeed 10 little boxes. We can follow a similar pattern with fractions, thinking about shading 6 sevenths of one side and 3 fifths of the other side of the rectangle to see what fraction is shaded of the final box. So with this rectangle, let's shade 6 sevenths going down the side. We'll shade the bottom 6 sevenths of this box. Similarly, going the other direction, we'll shade 3 fifths of the box. Splitting it into 5 chunks, we'll shade the left 3 of them. And what we end up with is a good amount of the rectangle being double shaded. How much? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 double shaded sections. Out of how many? Well, we've got 18 so far, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 18 out of 35 of the small rectangles have been shaded. What's interesting about this is you may notice that the double shaded area comes from the numerators. It's a 6 by 3 rectangle. 6 by 3. Multiplying straight across the numerators will tell us the amount that's double shaded, 6 times 3. Similarly, the entire rectangle comes from the denominators, 7 by 5, 7 by 5 gives us 35 little rectangles. In other words, to find the denominator of our answer, we could have multiplied across the denominator. This is where we get the pattern for multiplying with fractions from. To multiply 6 sevenths times 3 fifths, we simply have to multiply the numerators, 6 times 3 to get 18, and multiply the denominators, 7 times 5, to get 35 for our final solution. One other shortcut we can take comes from reducing fractions. When we reduced fractions, we found out we could divide out common factors if it was all multiplication. Since these problems are also multiplication, we can reduce common factors out of the problem. The nice part is, as long as a factor comes out of the numerator and the denominator, it doesn't matter if it's directly above or diagonal. In other words, we'll notice that 25 and 55 in this problem have a common factor of 5. 25 is 5 times 5. 55 is 5 times 11. And so that common factor of 5 can divide out. Similarly, 32 and 24 have a common factor of 8. 32 is 8 times 4, and 24 is 8 times 3. And again, because we have an 8 in the numerator and denominator, that common factor can divide out, and we're left with much smaller numbers that we can multiply straight across. In the numerator, 5 times 4 is 20, and in the denominator, 3 times 11 is 33. Our final answer when multiplying 25 over 24 by 32 over 55 is 20 thirties thirds. Again, when multiplying with fractions, we can reduce common factors out of the numerator and denominator, and then we can simply multiply the numerator straight across and multiply the denominators straight across.